it's going to leave a huge gap, I want to say, for the people that uh, played soccer. The soccer community is saddened and outraged as a very well-known soccer facility in the Lachine, Montreal area is being sold to a real estate developers group. A lot of people have souvenirs in that building, in that place. Adam Nemery has been a referee at Soccerplex Catalonia for over 15 years. He says he remembers so many memories created there kind of like an emotional attachment that we have to this place. The soccer facility was opened in 2001 and is not just a place for amateur players. It's also a training center for athletes of all levels. The dome makes it easy for them to keep playing indoors during the winter. It quickly became some kind of, you know, central element to soccer in Montreal, but also like a landmark for players of all levels to kind of meet there and hang out and then reconnect with with friends. The facility is privately owned by the Catalonia family, but it plays an important part in soccer development in Montreal, where soccer clubs like ARS Lac Saint Louis and other teams used to train. And they're letting us stay for another year because they will not be doing anything to the to the land for a year. In Lachine, we're one of the only boroughs without a soccer, with, without a sports center, point final, you know. The mayor saying that it's not all bad news. There's a synthetic feel there that is practically brand new that the new owners are giving to Lachine. The borough has plans for their own sports facilities. The mayor said that the borough is investing in a swimming pool that will be owned by the borough, along with receiving the dome and synthetic field as a gift from the real estate development group. But the sports community still says it's a big loss. It's, it's going to be tough to, uh, to accept, really. In Montreal, Wala Amara, City News.